Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here aboard Sea Cloud Spirit, and we've, we're just at the end of a wonderful cruise, eight-day cruise, sailing, real sailing, and I'm here with uh, Nicole Kanya, who is the cruise director, who was responsible for kind of guiding us through all this whole trip and 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 teaching us all about what we're going to do, including having some events dealing with just sailing, and we've also gone on shore excursions and all kinds of things. We're going to talk to Nicole about what there is to do on this incredible ship and you know, a big part of it is the sailing and seeing the sails uh, uh, uh you know the, them rigging the sails but you're going to find out about all that and more on insider travel report And Nicole, first of all, I want to thank you. We've had a marvelous cruise. This has been really a lot of fun. You've been a lot of fun. You've been really in, in you've t- teaching us all about what's going on every day. But let's talk about this. What is your role as cruise director here aboard Sea Cloud Spirit? Thank you very much, James. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I see myself, I'm your host. Right. So um, I love very much the diversity that this job uh, includes. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, starting from your embarkation. So you, uh, I am among the first ones that you see. And yeah, as our cruise getting to an end, the last one also. Yeah, you and gave us the, the, the post talk <laughs> uh, just a little few hours ago. You gave us like, that horrible yes. end of you disembark <laughs> vacation, get the worst time of a cruise, right? Exactly. This is the worst presentation. <laughs> yeah. well, you also gave, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later, a wonderful history of Sea Cloud, the original Sea Cloud. And you, you know a lot about it because you've studied it, right? Oh, yeah. I'm very enthusiastic about this also. And of course, of all of our ships. And yeah, that requires then here on board the organization also that is part of my job for the daily programs, as you mentioned already. Um, yeah, what we're doing um, the day with sailing, um, all the events that go around this, of course, mm-hmm. then the excursion at shore, also events like we had um, this cruise. Um, and it's, yeah, I love the being close to the guests and the crew and the different departments connecting it all. And um, yeah, being also flexible in terms of your needs and how we can adjust the uh, program also to make the experience um, the marvelous possible. Absolutely. Now, and I, we talked earlier about how important the actual people come on the ship to see the sails. They come on to see the way you rig the sails. And uh, how important is that activity? And you're, you're part of that, too, where you're telling everybody, you know, how it's going to happen. And you get these guys all geared up and they start going up the rigging, right? Yes, absolutely. So this is really what makes us unique, mm-hmm. the art and the tradition of sailing. So watching the them doing their magic and the art climbing up the shrouds and making a special experience that you could not get if you don't um, put the sails the way that we do here. And and right now we are actually under sail. Uh, It's it's been great to see them up. Now, the other thing is beyond the sailing, there are a lot of other activities on board. I think you you have regular uh, engine room and bridge tours, right? Yes, exactly. So we'd like to give you, as we have this private yacht character, to give you as much insights as possible. So starting from the bridge going down to the engine having a look at different cabins so really making the whole experience all about of course the sails like um, our captain's talk we just had also our chief engineer so really getting um, as much involved um, and detailed as possible and indeed even though this is a sailing ship we do have some powerful engines that, that drive us through the water as well right exactly from yeah. time to time we need them also <laughs> Absolutely. and then of course you have le- wonderful lectures on uh, board and uh, you have two on this board this particular cruise and uh, really some interesting stuff, right? Yes, absolutely. So depending on the cruise and the voyage, um, where we go, we have for specific topics, um, then fitting lecturers and they do a wonderful job. Now, you do have, there's not a lot of nightly entertainment, but there was one night that was kind of fun uh, where the whole crew got together and, and sang shanty songs. Uh, and then there was a big party afterwards. Right? Oh, yes, absolutely. We do love it. And yeah, it's really special and shows again the special character we have on board, really being close family and crew um, guests. Um, being part of that family um, that we are here on board and guests relatively quickly get to know it in mm-hmm. a special moment, as you mentioned, are our shanties and crew is enjoying it, guests all together and really they um, do it in their free time and we get all together. And then um, they dance the night away, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoying with the guests and giving them this special feeling. Mm-hmm. 
No, that's what it was a wonderful evening. And uh, yeah, otherwise, it's pretty quiet on board. I got to tell you, in the evenings, I mean, you can. <laughs> there's a movie night. We watched a movie, but uh, but then you do have obviously the shore excursions. And uh, on this particular one, we did. Uh, well, you had it wasn't really shore excursion, but it was the Sunset Beach where we went and saw a beautiful on a bonfire, and we saw the sunset uh, on one of uh, I think it was on Eleuthera, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, Cape Eleuthera, and yeah, we tried to have these special moments also shoreside and we arranged for the bonfire and mm -hmm. having sea cloud spirit in the back the sun setting was another special moment also getting yeah, I, I, was, I was trying to get the captain to move the ship a little closer to the sun <laughs> just because the, the photo would have been better right <laughs> correct yeah well <laughs> it, it didn't work out that way but anyway but then we did we did uh, and then of course my favorite i've done this before but i have to tell you your your version of it the the folks that you you got to do this tour for you uh the the swimming pigs the famous swimming pigs and that was fa amazing amazing event yes really you read about it um and bef but before you experience it yourself you cannot believe it and yeah in these waters here around i'm yeah all the time astonished and uh, this was another special and we got to go hold the pig on the island i never did that before the little pig so that was pretty <laughs> cool and then of course that is followed by eating feeding the iguanas so you, you get a double two for the price of one right <laughs> <laughs> correct that's what we do <laughs> and that was a one that was another island and that was a full that was a full half day it was, it was a lot of fun and then we did some other things like we went uh to a resort and uh we had a nice reception at the resort the other night uh that was on uh, exuma i believe right yes correct so we had a special white night event and yeah having this picture all dressed up in white and uh, on this white beach with the blue sea in the back is yeah very lovely and then i missed yesterday sadly i did i had to work and, and it was a, almost a full beach day a lot, you know a lot of beach time on this on this cruise right yes exactly the bahamas are all about beach and uh, enjoying the beautiful waters all around no that's great now how did you get to become a cruise director well, it was always my my dream, actually. Right. So I studied tourism management okay. um, and focused on tour operating, and also did um, a course for a cruise uh, for the cruise ships. And um, it was always my dream. And at one point, I said, "You need to try it." Um, and that's how I found my passion. And I'm lucky to say it. Yeah. And how, how long have you been with Sea Cloud? Um, almost one and a half years now. Okay. And you like it? I love it. <laughs> I know, but well, you got you You're really into the history of the whole thing, and uh, it, it really is an amazing ship. Now, uh, for all our uh, travel agents, travel advisors out there who are going to be booking clients on this wonderful ship, and also your sister ships, what's the best way to experience a Sea Cloud cruise? What should they tell their clients about what to be ready for? Yeah, if you seek yeah the special um, special cruise on a um, with a private yacht character, enjoying the tradition of sailing and getting to destinations, small destinations also that you could not with other That's ships. That's a big thing, yeah. Exactly, right. and then um, having special experience, getting um, really into our family together with our gorgeous crew. And you also go to so many different places i mean I, sometimes i feel like you don't have the same place twice i know there's word is next year you'll be back here in the bahamas but you went to panama you went to costa rica and now i think after this cruise you're they're headed across uh, over to the med again, right exactly so we're heading back to europe soon and uh, starting our season there once it's getting warmer also on the other side Fantastic. Well, Nicole, I want to thank you for taking, putting up with me uh, on board here. And, and you, you've really been a magnificent host uh, for this really very special cruise. I wanted to sail in a tall ship with real sails, uh, with crew rigging the sails for so long. And finally, I got a chance to do it. I've, I do a lot of cruising, as you might expect, but this was a very different and very special kind of cruise. Thank you so, so much, James, for having me also and for spending the time with us on board Sea Cloud Spirit. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.